a 13-year-old boy who was hit and killed by a car in Lebanon Grove earlier this year has announced they are suing the city. 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala is in Lebanon Grove where his family claims the city knew this street was dangerous. And the family says a street light or maybe some speed bumps could have done a lot to increase safety on San Miguel Avenue and potentially save the life of Trayvon Harris. They say they're not only suing the city, they're calling for the streets to be fixed so no other family has to go through what they went through. What would Trayvon, what would Trayvon want? And his is to help other people to save other kids. National civil rights activists along with the family of Trayvon Harris stood outside Lemon Grove City Hall to announce a lawsuit filed against the city alleging officials knew that San Miguel Avenue was dangerous but failed to keep children safe. They're now asking for an undisclosed amount of money and damages and for the streets to become safer. In May, Trayvon Harris was hit by a car as he was crossing the street near San Miguel Elementary School. His mom and younger brother were nearby and witnessed the horrific aftermath. They say he was dragged about 50 feet by the car that hit him. The Sheriff's Department investigated and found the driver was not at fault, so no charges were ever filed. Reverend Shane Harris with the People's Alliance for Justice also announced today that he's calling for the city of Lemon Grove to pass a sales tax increase so the money could go toward increasing public safety efforts in Lemon Grove. The group here also says they'll be at the October 22nd City Council meeting to call for city officials to fix streets like San Miguel in honor of Trayvon. I won't give up my son's legacy and his name will live. And I did reach out to the city of Lemon Grove for their response.